To go from this curve to this curve, you're looking at the slope of the line tangent to the curve at any point. And when you go from this curve to this curve, you're also looking at the slope. But in this case, the slope is constant, so you just get a constant graph here. So the derivative graph is telling you how much the original function is changing with respect to time or space or whatever you're studying at any point on the graph. We started this by talking about position, velocity, and acceleration. So here is the position. Again, this is like so many meters away from the origin over some function of time. And we said that we take the derivative and we get the velocity. So this thing is called the velocity of the particle. And we, we took the derivative again. And we said, OK, we get another graph down here. So if the derivative of position is velocity, if you take the derivative again and take a look at how this thing is changing, the velocity is changing, what do you think this graph is going to be called there? That one's going to be called acceleration. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.